Hey dolls. Okay, if you want to see a how-to step-by-step tutorial on how to achieve this look, then stay tuned. I am going to show you guys how to get all of this with just using very few products. And it's also going to be a quick one, two, three. So if you guys like this, stay tuned, keep watching, and you're going to see me go from glam to homeless in two seconds. Ready, set, go. Today we are going to do something simple and quick. Most of us don't have a lot of time anyways on a day to day. So I'm gonna start off, I have nothing on my skin right now. So I'm gonna start off with our Jane Iredell uh, Beauty Prep Hyaluronic Serum. So this is just gonna add some moisture to the skin. I'm gonna do a pump and a half, I think I did, all over. Okay, so I did put the serum underneath my eyes as well and on top. So I have it everywhere. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Beyond Matte. The reason why I'm choosing this because I wanna show you something quick and easy. You can apply this with your fingers if you want, but the Beyond Matte is as the foundation. You could be used as your concealer, foundation, and primer. So you do not need a primer with this. I'm gonna use this brush, which is the blending brush. I always put it on my palette. And grab it off of the palette and just go all over the skin. I just blot it everywhere and that's just one pump and I still have a lot left but I go under the eyes because this is also used as a concealer go over the eyes under the eyes everywhere so if you don't want a very heavy um, coverage then you just stop there I am NOT in my 20s so I definitely just want a little bit more coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more and I'm not adding anything. I still have a lot left over from that one pump. So I'm just going to go over the areas of main concern, which are always going to be under the eyes, over any little spots on my cheeks, a little sun damage. I'm going to grab my tart brush and I'm going to scoop up whatever I have left and I'm just going to go right underneath the eyes. Right underneath. But I'm using the same product. I'm not switching into 50 different products. This is all the same stuff. You definitely don't have to do this, but because I'm me, I can't skip the contouring. So I'm gonna use this Anastasia kit, and this is the medium, it's the contour powder kit, medium to tan. You can tell which ones are my favorites here, but I'm gonna use this darker shade, a combination of these two, that are like dull brown colors. I can give you guys the names if you want, or I'll list it somewhere. But I'm just going to add a little bit not crazy, just a little bit. Because who even am I with no contour? You won't recognize me. <laughs> now, we're gonna get into the Melt Beauty over here. This is the Queen Bee. I think I'm gonna do a combination of the two of them. Yeah, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna swirl a combination of the two of them with this one. And we are just gonna get it all over the cheeks. Do you see that? That is so beautiful and it literally looks like I just went to the beach. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I am swirling my brush in the, not palette, into the blush, swirling it all over to kind of get a blend of the two. And then I'm just gonna go all over. So now I'm going to grab the with the Morph brush, I'm using the M510 Morph brush, and the you can see the brush looks like this. So I'm gonna grab the lighter one, the lighter shade here, and with that lighter shade, I'm just gonna go right over top of this. Almost like a highlighter. It's so stinking beautiful. Oh my gosh. Kind of feel like I'm red carpet ready. Like this is not a quick one, two, three look. This is like, whoa, where are you going? Okay, so I'm gonna use the same colors on my eyelids, but I'm gonna use a primer first nice. and then do it the right way just so that it grabs. And you can do this with your fingers. I'll do it with my fingers so you guys can see how easy this is. I said I was gonna use my fingers, so here it goes. This is the P. Louise, it's the base. It's just called base, it's a primer. Um, 
but you can use any primer that you have. This is just what I have on hand and it's a really good one. So I'm just gonna grab a little dot, seriously, a little dot like this. Hopefully I'm not exaggerating and it's not too little, but just a little dot like this and I'm going to blend it on my two ring fingers. And then, let's do this. I'm going to kind of, yeah, that's a lot. You see that? Like it's not, like I'm not even playing. Now, you don't, hmm, I don't wanna say you don't need a primer. I just did a makeup lesson with a sweet friend of mine and we saw the difference. With a primer versus with no primer, the payoff of your colors are a huge difference. So if you don't wanna go through your products super quick, you because. feel like you are going through your products way too quickly and it just creases up throughout the day and your stuff is just not lasting you, then this is probably the one thing that is missing. Um, I will do a video on my favorites and I will show you guys what my favorite products for everything is as far as primers, foundations, everything. We'll go through it. But for now, I'm using this one that's it. I went a little bit with whatever's left over uh, underneath the eyes just to grab anything or we'll see where we go. So now I am going to grab the darker side of the of the two shades. I'm going to grab the queen side and we are going to use a fluffy brush. And if you have hooded eyes or just mature eyes or you just really want it to show because a lot of times what we do is we do uh, we put a shade in the crease but then when you open your eyes and you look ahead you don't see it so the trick is to go don't be afraid to go over the, the crease go onto the brow bone and that's what I'm gonna do with both sides I'm gonna grab the queen and go over the brow bone or just underneath the, the brows but you see how I'm placing it right here on the bone above the crease and then I'll go ahead and bring it in a little bit and we'll darken it up add a little bit on the edges here just like that and now I'm going to switch colors now we are going to go into B okay B is that lighter one that we use as a highlight right here and I am using another Jane Iredell brush this is the deluxe shader brush so I'm just gonna go and press it right onto the lids. And this is just a lighter shade that's in that duo. So I'm literally just doing this makeup look with two shades. Now, if you were in a pinch, you can definitely also use your fingers for this. So if you're traveling somewhere and you don't have everything, then just press it into the skin like this. And sometimes you get almost a better payoff with your fingers, which is kind of crazy. Like if I ever want to see more of a pop, I will add it with my fingers. It's funny, because we do invest in our brushes. Now, remember I use my color switch? That way I don't have to switch out of things. This is my little gold mine. So now for underneath, I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I love them both, but I'm gonna start off with the darker one, with Queen, and I'm using the Veramona blending. Now I am using the Veramona blending brush, because it's a little bit, um, you see how it's a little bit thinner? and just a little bit more tighter. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna go right here and just go ahead and, this is the darker shade. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here with the same brush. I just cleaned my, my brush on the color switch to make it fun and stay with this whole gold thing that I have going on. So I'm gonna grab this KKW and this is in the color yellow gold and i'm just going to go right underneath in my waterline finish the eyes i did the liner now i could do a quick little wing liner but honestly not necessary for every day something quick that looks like you did a lot you don't need to what i am going to do is i'm going to use the jane iredell the lash conditioner pure lash it's so good can you guys see that pure lash conditioner okay comes out white and I'm just gonna coat them first you put this on underneath your mascara no matter what mascara you're using this goes underneath it's going to condition your lashes make them look fuller thicker and just think of the wear and tear on the hairs of your lashes from everyday mascara 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mascara. You always use the, the gook at the tip, sweep it back and forth, and then, now that you put the product on your lashes, then you go ahead and just sweep it out. But this way, your natural lashes look nice and full. Use the Urban Decay Brow Blade again. I love this, this is like my favorite, the brow blade. So I'm gonna use the ink stain side and just brush strokes, darken it up over this way. And just dry it almost in little brush strokes. Same thing over on this side. Like I said, just do brush strokes, fill in any little gaps. We all have little gaps, well, not all. Some people are blessed with some perfect, full, thick brows that you hate when you're little and love when you get older. So, just little brush strokes. And again, don't worry about being perfect or precise because you're gonna go back and fix it. I always try to do this as I go so that it doesn't set because once it sets, it sets. So if you have those perfect brows, you don't even have to do this step. But if you do not, and you are like me, and you have little gaps, then of course you gotta do this. But you can do it quickly. Doesn't have to take you forever. Right, so like, if you see, I kind of took off a little bit of the shadow, that's okay. You can go back, you could blend. So I'll go back. I'm not putting anything on here, and I'll just kind of blend. And it just blends whatever colors you already have all over. That's that. So brows are done. Now I'm going to use Melt Cosmetics. I'm going to keep it going with the Melt. And this is in the color Mural. I don't know if you could see that. But this is the shade. It's very pretty. It's like an orangey color. And since I have all this gold going on, I might as well use this. So I usually do the lipstick first. There's no right or wrong way. And this is actually a ultra matte lipstick, but don't be afraid right, of ultra matte. It is matte, but it's not, it's not a, like a dry matte, if that makes any sense. Um, you can stop right here. That looks pretty on its own. I'm gonna add a little liner. Um, sugar and spice seems to be the one that I keep on using. So I'm just gonna use this one. And I just go right over. Nobody, well, some people are symmetrically perfect. Part, nobody is 100% symmetrical. So on me, one side of my lip has more of a curve and the other side is a little bit more straight. So on the side that's a little bit more straight, I tend to overline just a little bit. And I do it enough so that it looks balanced. And same with the bottom. It's not being fake, guys. It's just using our tools, creating art. So, last step is always a hydration spray. So I'm going to hydrate my skin. My favorite one is this lemongrass one, but this one is like almost done. I have another one and I'm gonna pop it open soon. But for now, I'm just using a Mario De ba Mario Badescu. <laughs> I know I said it wrong, but it's the aloe cucumber one with green tea. That's it. Set it and forget it. Let it stay. And I'm gonna go put my hair down and show you guys the final look. But this is basically it. And all we did is use this Melt Cosmetic Queen Bee on the cheeks, on the eyes, and the Melt Lipstick. Beyond Matte, lifesaver. That way you don't have to use 50 steps. Skincare and then just this. That was my concealer, my foundation, my everything. All right, babes, so this is the final look. I just threw on this hat because my hair needs some help. I need to do something with it. I'm probably gonna curl it tonight, wash and curl. And um, yeah, so I'm just rocking this Urban Outfitters hat, which is super cute. Um, but it was a simple look. I hope that everybody enjoyed it. I hope you could follow along. And if you don't have this, then it's Queen Bee Melt Cosmetics. You can get it individually. I did get the, the whole set as you saw on my Instagram, and if you didn't see it, then check out my Instagram, because I did an unboxing. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just what you can do with one of those, one of the duos alone. We were able to do eyes, cheeks, everything with just that duo. Um, also, if you guys are enjoying these, please give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe to this channel and turn on your little notifications hit that bell so that I, you get a notification every time I post um, and thank you so much for all your support I really really do appreciate everybody's help thanks ladies